Hi, my name is Jewel Campbell. I am a full Bahamian. Well, I think I am. But um, I was born in Nassau, Bahamas. Nassau, Bahamas, um, Princess Margaret Hospital. Um, my favorite thing about the Bahamas would be our food, to be honest, because it is great. My favorite Bahamian dish would have to be um, probably. There are so many, but my favorite behind dish would be peas and rice, macaroni, group well, even though I don't like fish. But that's just good. And cold slow, like yes, I love it. Um, I like we have a festival called Junkanoo. I mean, I'm not a big, big fan, but it's really um a tourist attraction. And we have it inside July. July for independence and we have a uh, is inside um, December for Boxing Day too. Another thing I love about the Bahamas is the weather to be honest because I hate the cold. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. So the fact that we have sun like probably more, more months out of the year than we have like no sun and cold and afterwards jackets on. We wear bathing suits and go to the pretty beaches and just Good day, I am Jamal Kabonse. I am 17 years of age. I'm a Filipino. A proud Filipino and I was born in the Philippines on September 6, 1999 and I came to the Bahamas when I was five around 2005. The Philippines is actually made out of many islands and those islands have different dialects but our main language is Tagalog and our main festival is Atiatihan our main dish is chicken adobo and in the Philippines everybody is welcome the people in the Philippines are very hospitable and the difference about the Philippines and the Bahamas is that the Philippines you got many places to go to and many activities to try out in addition to the difference between the Bahamas and the Philippines is that the Philippines does not have many clear waters unlike the Bahamas and also the Philippines is different from the Bahamas because in the Philippines there are many street foods something I like about the Bahamas is their food I like kong salad the most and fried snapper and peas and rice and I like the beaches yep. My name is CJ Anderson. Well, I was born in Kingston, Jamaica. Moved to the Bahamas when I was 14. Well, me, to me personally, I didn't want to move to the Bahamas because I liked when I was living in Jamaica because I thought I was free and like I was, you know, like I grew up there, so I knew everybody and I was. You know, but when I moved to the Bahamas, um, I well, I came here on a summer and I didn't know I was staying here, so. My mom told me, oh, you're going to school in September in the Bahamas. I was shocked. I was like, what? No, I want to go back to Jamaica because I don't know nobody here. And it could be weird and meeting new people. But I like meeting new people for me is nothing because I'm very, like, social and friendly. And, yeah, so it wasn't really nothing. So, yeah, I moved to the Bahamas. Didn't really like it here for a while. But then I got used to it. Mm -hmm. What 
I love about the Bahamas is the people, the food, and their culture. Um, the type of foods I like are conch fritters and conch salad and yeah. And what I love about Jamaica is the people also and the culture and the food. Bye. Hi, my name is Misan C. Mathurin. Um, <laughs> I said Aquinas College, sorry. Um, my hobbies are rapping, writing poetry, singing, dancing, um, anything that relates to speech, debating, speaking, stuff like that. Um, I was born in Cap Haitian Haiti, um, and then I came to the Bahamas when I was six years old. Right after coming to the Bahamas, I left and went to back to Haiti for school. And then after I came from Haiti, I came back over here. I did primary school at Naomi Blush. I started at grade three. And then I went to T.A. Thompson Junior High School, and then I left and went to the Dominican Republic, and then I came back, and then I did my first year, senior year at C.C. Sweeting, and then I came to Aquinas College for the 11th grade, and that's where I am now, and um, yeah, so... Bye! Boys, yeah, I know the goat. <laughs> you know, Spence, you know how we do with the girls. What makes you unique? Well, considering that I am very young, and many consider me the goat, I am. What have you learned from your past experiences, both good and bad? Well, from my my past, my past experiences, um, I've learned to I know I can cut it out, but I am still recording. I'm not going to stop recording. Okay. You and I'm going to put all of this in the blue bus. I mean it. Come on. Okay. I am putting these in the blue bus. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on.